this is a common mashup, so I think they should both understand at least what they're doing here. And I think it's gonna be more on it's gonna be more on air to air game because you know they both have they both have those aerials the yeah. back air and there. So I want to see if they're gonna be able, if the wolf ball hoop's gonna be able to effectively air to air and anti air the inkling back air. And I think that's really gonna come down to it. Yeah. And then how strong is the lead trap gonna be on both sides? Cause they can both destroy each other with this flat bomb and with wolf's like strong aerials. Now one thing I am curious to see is if uh, the inkling's gonna use the roller. And if Valfu can find an answer, if it yeah. does come up. Roller can be a nightmare to deal with for some characters. Yeah. For some people, if they don't understand the, the shield effectiveness. Okay. okay, there. You saw the Nair yep. take it. From that angle, Nair will just beat back there. And that's a very important interaction to be aware of. Yeah, great. Okay. Great. Gee, but for the jump, I respect the jumper. First stock, you might as well go for it. If that hit, mm -hmm. I think you would have had that. Actually, wow. sick. Uh, there, I think it would have been nice if he did just a two jabs and just let the bomb explode on him. Yeah. Like, a, you know, like Saints would do like with just four tilt one or something? Yeah. There again, narrow just beat back or clean there. Oh, there's the, the roller. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how he got rolled there, but I think he was caught in his dash back. Yeah, he was dashing back. Yeah, so there you can't shield. So you either have to keep running or jump and hope you get hit by the aerial hit. Yep. But there, you want to be careful because getting caught in your dash is like the number one way including hit rollers and a lot of characters hit them lasering the fuck out of him here he should realize what he's doing to play around lasers yep. well. I'm Ooh. glad that ball food's not forcing the kill here though just kind of waiting okay the nice carries. y'all see great don't know that um, I think that was a true punish because of the inkling bear was so high up but if it was a little lower, Inkling could actually shield that. Yeah. But that was a great recognition on the fact that it would scoop. Great back air jab. Jab was definitely the best option there to ink him up. Okay. Misses the grab. Misses the punish, but so. Let's see how he cheat. Notice the laser, he jumps. See how he, that's how he, see how Balfu capitalizes on this advantage. Decent. Oh. Gets roller. Recognizes okay. the lag on that. That was very mashable. He should not have gotten force smash there. He went for the jump read. Look, here he should go for the jump. Yep. Yep. Let's see. He's forcing He's the jump. I mean, he should go for a dash forward, turn around back here, right? Yeah. Here I want him to run under him and like maybe go for up to or up there, mm -hmm. or maybe just do a full hop there and try to meet him in the air. At the range he's playing at. And the roller yeah. comes out to. Oh. Lucky. Oh wow. Look lucky. At that. The thing is, he should have been out of it. He wasn't even willing to mash. Yeah. Even then, when you should be dead no matter what, you should always mash just in case they mess up like that. Yeah. Good recovery. Yeah, what I'm starting to notice is that Balfu throws out a smash attack and then a, the roller comes out. Yeah, he's already. And then he should be prepared for that. He can use it as a bait, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so there, Nair beat. Nair traded oh, back wow, here. Oh, wow, I can't believe it. How did he air dodge his thing grab it? Or yeah, what? I think he air dodged towards it and just ripped. Spelled him. him. Here. Yeah, I want him to meet him in the air. Like, try yeah. to throw out forward Nair. Or maybe even back here against these short hops himself and get to go for the kill. Wow. Yeah. Splatter shot is a mix up like that. Very dangerous position. Jumps out. Let's see how he gets out of the corner. I want a wolf I want the wolf to get that air to air. Because yeah. there are opportunities to get it. Full hop and air will just like it's yeah. like a dive bomb. Great, and another the parry parry up smash. smash. Clean, keeps reading the landing. So his torch, it almost always lands with an aerial, right? Because yep. in most inklings do. I think you should mix in more tomahawk grabs or more tomahawk shields even to bait out to, uh, the smash stack and then punish yep. those shields. That way he can protect himself from okay. the parry. Decent combo. He could have gotten like a f at least two more hits probably, maybe even three, if he properly delayed the forward airs there. Okay, let's see how he gets a punish. Doesn't. Hmm. Torch is playing very evasive right now. Yep. I actually like it, but I'm feeling that the lasers are. Yeah, I, I was gonna say it was a good option until, you know, Torch recognized that he's not willing to air to air. Yeah, yeah you gotta be ready to, for that tech. Yeah. He's just eating these platforms. Yeah, so I, I said it earlier, the ledge trap would make a big difference, and I think Torch is definitely winning this, this situation. Okay, nice roll. Yeah, that was a good timing. Okay. No okay. way. Decent. Um, I respect the attempt. I but think you can do that on reaction. I don't think you actually have to. 
do an instant. I don't think you have to buffer it. Mm. And I don't think it's worth the risk there. There, I think you can just play patient, and you're more likely to win than go for a bullshit. Yeah. It's very important to stay calm and realize that you can win even if you don't cheese them. Like, you don't need cheese to win. You definitely could have just ledge shot on, like, on a forward tilt, then got, like, back air, and you would have won. Yep. A lot of times people get impatient and it's like, oh, it's either now or never. But really, you can, a lot of time taking your time is how most comebacks are made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel, I feel the same way. You should have gone for a ledge trap, waited two for him to come back. Two more guesses on the ledge, and it would have been, would have been stock anyway. Yeah. Without having to do all or nothing. Because when he did that, he said someone's winning right now. Yeah. Clean conversion on the forward tilt. Okay. Maybe he could have got a dash grab, but... The jab whip. Yeah, that was oh. unfortunate. That's just ultimate shit happens. Torch recognizing that the gun was going to come out. Yeah, I like the splatter shot. Splatter shot's very low committal, but it does add ink and can disrupt the wolf from laser in. Yep. Oh, unfortunate miss on the dash grab. He should have dashed a little bit closer. Okay, nice spacing. Early. That was a nice spacing. Good get up attack. Definitely yeah. the best answer there. Yeah. When someone's smashing like that. Get up attack, as long as you're in range. Yeah. Know your get up attack range. Clean jump over. That I don't, I'm good. not a fan of the double lasers. The laser and the laser, because he's usually jumping over and punishing the second one. Pretty yeah. viably. It starts to become a little bit of a pattern. Yeah. And so there, he's too far away to get that dash grab. You really got to be closer if you're trying to grab the normal get up. There, Torch jumped over it. Oh, it's Clean snipe. Dead into the bomb. I'm a big fan of the splat bombs because Ball Poop has not shown that he's able to deal with it. He doesn't really have an answer for it. No. So, if he follows the improvement plan, he should. He should figure out how to deal with that. But I think Shine would be useful for him here. Yeah. But he doesn't know that, so I'm good on Torch for keep, keeping it up. Okay. Not a fan of those back airs. Because it's very laggy on the O. Yeah. You might as well just empty hop. Great punish on the jab. He's got entire ink on. Great landing with the splatter shot. So you remember he messed up the adaptation from the parry yep. earlier. So it's like screw landing with forward air and back air on the shield. It, it keeps him safer than if he actually committed. You should go for the ledge jump right here. Yep, called that out. So Torch has been wow. ledge jumping most of the time at kill percent because he's scared. I think, I think Balfu needs to go for those air to airs. Yeah, he really the, uh, the, the, the rising nares, same situation, but he almost out of it. got lucky like last time. Should have been mashing harder mm -hmm. at that percent. Was not mashing to the best of his abilities. Definitely could have gotten out after the first whiff down smash. Yep. So for Torch there, you need to calm down when you hit roller. If you're doing it too fast, it will hurt you. Mm -hmm. It's not that it's not a race. Just walk up and do it. You can grind that out too. So that's just because you're jumping. Because you're just you're thinking too fast. Your hands are moving too fast. One thing I would also uh, say for Balfoop is um, he's not really using up air. Like, yeah, you can run under and catch the full hops with up air when after the laser. I feel like he's limiting his play style. To like either grounded or forward back air. I don't think he does forward air too right, much. Or nares or not. Yeah. The drift, a full hop drift in nares. So Torch, it keeps, every time he gets a tech chase, he keeps fishing for the jab blocks. Mm -hmm. But you can actually do that on reaction. You can hit them, run up, and if you see the miss tech, then you jab. But if you see anything else, you can still chase. But he always goes for the jab and just hopes that they miss the jab. They yeah. miss a tech just so he can get a cool combo. You don't want to do that. Usually going for the cool stuff won't really work. And there yeah, it is, getting out of space. Wolfhub should be more ready and more prepared to play around roller because you know they're going for that. You shouldn't commit to anything. Most of the time, he'd be landing and he would just fuck up the parry timing with the roller. Mm -hmm. Or he'd call out an attack with the roller and then he would just die for it. You really got to be prepared because that's basically their only kill option at that percent, right? Yeah. So when you know they only have one kill option, you should be more willing to play around it. More shield because you can always shield punish roller. And uh, just, he, he, he definitely needed more air to air there. Um. Yeah, meet him. At, sometimes in the early in the early on, he would do the full hop in there and land on him. Yeah. And that would beat the short hop back air. But even short hop back air will usually come out because he can do such a meaty move from far away. Mm. And the trades almost always benefit Wolf in this matchup. That's true. 
because just the damage output from the singular moves. And then main issue for Torch, I say, was you got to calm down on your punishes. You missed a lot of the rollers were a lot of the roller combos were sus. Like you should walk up. You should not be running after them, and you should know the spacing better because you, he, you knew he wasn't mashing. So if you rush it, you're more likely to mess up. Take your time because it's a very forgiving window. Don't try to take it too fast, or you're more likely to trip. The few issues with, well, I guess the, a bunch of issues with Balfoop was the uh, committing to the ground game and getting punished every single time he was a little too far away because Torch always came in with the roller every single time he tried to outspace land on, him. Land with the roller. Yeah, land with the roller. He should have been more, playing more reactively. So Balfoop needed to either commit to shield because roller is a thing or hit hit him before he even gets a chance to bring out the roller. Like air to air. Go for air yeah. to air. Especially because... Rolling in the air is not a very good hitbox at all. No. And it doesn't really do anything if you get by it. It's much less threatening. Okay, and uh, I think that's it for the matches right now. Um, Brandon? Do you know how long the practice has been going on for? How long the session has been practicing?